Hello there. This is the Sounds American channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the American consonant sound ch, as in the word chair. You can also hear this sound in words like child, coach, nature, or catch. We'll be using special phonetic symbols ch for this sound. If you watched our previous videos, you may find these symbols quite familiar. That's right, the ch actually consists of two consonants the stop sound t and the fricative sound sh. You may wonder why watch a video about two sounds we've already discussed on our Sounds American channel? That's a good question. Here's why. This video isn't simply about the t and the sh, but about how they merge into an entirely different consonant sound. The ch is one of two consonant sounds in American English that are made this way. They're called affricates. So, what is an affricate sound? The affricates are made by first stopping the airstream and then releasing it through a narrow passage in your mouth with an audible friction. Many non-native English speakers don't think they have difficulties pronouncing the ch sound. The problem, however, is that English spelling can be very tricky. And tricky spelling often leads to mispronunciations. Let's do a quick test. Can you point out the words that are pronounced with the ch sound? Take your time. Okay, let's check how you did. Chicago. Chance. Cello. Machine. Mixture. Mechanic. Chef. Chief. Do we have your attention yet? The point is, when it comes to the ch sound, both pronunciation and spelling are important. We'll cover spelling at the very end of this video. And now let's find out how to make the ch sound correctly. As we said a minute ago, to make the ch sound, you need to merge the stop t with the fricative sh into one sound. First, slightly open your mouth and push out your lips. Now, focus on your tongue. Place the tip of your tongue on the alveolar ridge, behind your upper front teeth, just as you do to make the t sound. This way you stop the air. Now, to release the air, arch your tongue so it's near the roof of your mouth. The same way as you do when you make the sh sound. Make sure that you don't touch the roof of your mouth and there's a small gap for the airstream. When you release the air through this gap, it'll flow with lots of noise. Ch Does that sound like a lot? Don't worry, let's watch it again in slow motion. Remember, the ch is an affricate sound, so it's important to completely stop the air and then immediately release it with friction. Now, let's try and merge the t and the sh sounds together. Ch, ch, ch. Here are a few typical mistakes that people make when pronouncing this sound. Number one, the most common problem is that many non-native English speakers confuse the ch and the sh sounds. 
This happens when people don't stop the air before making the shh sound. Be careful, as this may lead to misunderstandings. Compare. Shop. Chop. Cash. Catch. Number two. As always, keep in mind the vowel length rule. The ch is a voiceless consonant, so vowel sounds before the ch are typically shorter than they are before voiced consonants. Compare. Badge. Batch. Ridge. Rich. We talked about the vowel length rule in detail in one of our previous videos. Don't forget to check the link in the description below. Okay, now let's put all this knowledge into practice. This is the best part of the entire lesson, right? This is how it works. You'll see a word on the screen and hear its pronunciation. Like this. Chance. You'll have a few seconds to pronounce the word. Try to go through as many words as possible. We'll start with the ch, represented by the combination of letters ch or tch. Let's begin. Chance. Chicken. Choose. Church. Attach. Bench. Each. Lunch. Much. Peach. Porch. Touch. Witch. Catch. Ketchup. Kitchen. Match. Stitch. Switch. Watch. Let's stop here for a second and take a short break. Next, we'll practice words where this sound is represented by the letter T. It's still the same ch sound, just a different spelling. Let's continue. Question. Feature. Furniture. Fortune. Creature. Culture. Digestion. Century. Mention. Adventure. Mixture. Situation. Nature. Capture. Future. Let's pause here for a second to catch our breath. Next, we suggest you practice words in which the letter CH 
are actually not pronounced as the ch sound. So, if you pronounce them as ch, it's a mispronunciation. And that's exactly what we're trying to fix with our exercises. Ache. Choir. Chemical. Machine. Christmas. School. Character. Technique. Stomach. Orchestra. Chicago. Psychology. Headache. Technical. Chef. You're done. Congratulations. At the beginning of this video, we promised to help with the spelling for the ch sound. Let's take a look. Most often, the ch sound is represented by the combination of letters ch, as in check or speech. This may come as a surprise, but the ch is also often written with the letter T, as in suggestion or future. Sometimes, this sound is represented by the letters TCH, as in catch or kitchen, and with one C, like in the word ancient, or two letters C, like in the word cappuccino. The last example is nice, isn't it? We like it a lot when you leave us your comments and questions. For example, this one. One of our users asked us about the dictionary we use to transcribe the words in our videos. It's a great question. All of the words in our videos are transcribed exactly how they are pronounced. This way, the transcription matches what you hear as accurately as possible. So, in a way, we're our own dictionary. We do consult other sources for sanity checks, though. We like the Cambridge Online Dictionary best. American English, of course. Click like if you like this video. Share this video with your friends, pets, and relatives. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned on our Sounds American channel.